My boots last night had frozen and the lace had frozen, so I had to snap them to break. But we just fancied a bit of an adventure. If you're new here, we're Cheska and Ben. We've spent the last four months exploring Turkey in our camper van, Sophia, along with our two dogs, River and Scout. For the past two weeks, we've been road tripping with our friends, Philly and Keely, who we got to see more of than we ever thought we would. And we've all seen a lot of each other. <laughs> yeah, we have. This week, we decided to abandon our West Coast trip and drag them along for a detour inland by about 11 hours. We experience heavy snow and extreme cold and see if Sophia can handle the absolutely freezing temperatures we're about to throw at her. Subscribe and join us for the ride with new videos every Sunday. Guys, we are still with Philly and Keely. We didn't sh scare them off with our <laughs> half naked hammam experience. If anything, it's brought us closer. Oh, yeah. definitely. And we've convinced them to drive into minus numbers 11 hours out of their way and probably a little bit more to come to Cappadocia with us. Why not? Get a dog, they said. It will be fun, they said. Look at what Scout's done to my bike. Leave a dog unattended in the front of the van with your camera. This is what happens. He was just sat on the front seat, my camera was on the dashboard and he'd obviously jumped up and thought it was a lot like a really tasty chew toy. <sighs> so I'm sorry if you can't hear me very well right now. I'm gonna try and speak as loudly as I can, put my GCSE drama into good use, project my voice. <laughs> I don't have a microphone anymore. So the plan today is to head to Cappadocia. Now, if you know anything about Turkey, you know Cappadocia is miles and miles away from where we are. It isn't on our route heading north. It's actually going back on ourselves by about 11 hours. But we just fancied a bit of an adventure. It's freezing cold in Cappadocia at the minute. It's snowy. Cappadocia is the famous place where all the hot air balloons rise up and it is meant to be beautiful. So a lot of people said you can't, surely you can't leave Turkey without going to Cappadocia. So we're gonna go there in the winter anyway. And that's why we've managed to drag Philly and Keely along too. So we're gonna have, yeah, a little bit of a road trip. Back east again, back to Cappadocia. Why not? Yeah, loads of oranges to make fresh orange juice. Call you husband, call me wife. Perfect. Fresh orange juice on our way. Do you not know where Keely is taking us? <laughs> it's like two kilometers down this mud road. So the road down here gets pretty muddy and clay-like. So we're gonna give that a miss because we're just was trying to stop somewhere for lunch. But it does mean we've got to reverse back the way we came because there's nowhere to turn around. Are you ready? Yeah. Channel one. Well, we completely forgot we had these. A convoy essential. A uh, walkie-talkie. Do you want a walkie-talkie? Uh, yes. Awesome. <laughs> it's on the right channel, I think. This is like level up. Yeah. Convoy right here. <laughs> uh, come in, man. Come in, Big Daddy. Big Daddy, do you read? So Keely set up a little sandwich feast for our lunch. We are right next to some steaming piles of horse poo. Thanks, Keely. <laughs> Perfect park up. <laughs> lunch finished, we packed up and hit the road again. It wasn't long before we left the lush forested hills and the ramshackle farmhouses behind us. The road opened out into the vast plains of central Turkey, covered in snow and stretching out endlessly in every direction. We were heading towards our first pit stop, a lakeside park up that looked pretty familiar. Good morning. Morning. We have, we have now left van life and we are on sailing boat life because the wind, <laughs> I don't know if there's anything, look at like the stuff behind me here. You well, can't the, really see it. Oh, here. The van's are rocking. The van is literally tilting. We've <laughs> never been in winds this bad. Just like... It's crazy, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. We made it back to Lake Eadir on our uh, mission to 
Cappadocia and this was our stop off. Some of you might remember Lake Aedir and this park up from our first Turkey video. This is the first place that we properly came to explore when we arrived in Turkey. It's where we had that big Turkish breakfast feast. It was pretty windy back then, but it looked completely different. The first, I would say, 50 meters, 25 meters of the lake, frozen. It's about that thick. The lake, <laughs> the lake is about that thick, the ice. If I, if I give you scout, I'll come to show everyone. So, look at this guys. Look, I don't know if you can see, I, I can't. Oh my God, it's that thick. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been on a frozen lake! No. <laughs> oh, what is really good is that because we've been here before, we know that right about here, it is only about two foot deep. Oh, yeah, exactly. So if we fell through, we'd be stood up still. Snowball. I don't freaking no, think I've so. Calling chapped ass, chapped ass. Do you read? Right, are you ready? Let's go. Does anyone need ready? Snow? Let's do this. Having a lunch of porridge sat in the forest. Feels like we're in Narnia. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful here. So gentle giant. Hello. How did you do that? Oh, no. oh. <laughs> I am the one always in this. <laughs> Come on, King <laughs> Well, after a long six and a half, seven hour drive today. We have made it to Cappadocia. We had a bit of a nightmare Yay. trying to find a park up that wasn't like two foot deep in mud, but we managed to find somewhere in the really pretty town of Uchisar, and it looks amazing. We are knackered. Poor Keely is making us all a shepherd's pie for dinner tonight. It's gonna be an early night for everyone, I think. Ready to explore Cappadocia tomorrow. We cannot wait. And we're meant to be getting over the next couple of days up to 12 inches of snow so things could get interesting well done guys i'm making it to Cappadocia. Oh, yeah. oh. i know it. we're all exhausted yeah and hungry exhausted and hungry yeah can yes. we have a reveal of the uh oh, no. i mean you can really i was just lifting it up to the zoom oh, oh that looks oh, that amazing looks <laughs> Flippin' heck! Oh, I told you it was full! Well done! That is full! Flippin' heck! I'm a boy! Who else is coming? <laughs> <laughs> we are snowed in! Oh my god! The pipes are frozen! <laughs> Our water tank is under the van, and of yeah. course, it is just frozen. Oh no! Thankfully. But we have our lifesaver still, and it is going to be a lifesaver today. I'm so glad we filled that up the other day. It's just about 20 liters we've got in there, so that will see us through. Oh, careful, careful, careful! Oh my gosh! Oh! Wow! Got a camera! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa. Oh, oh my god, look at it coming in! Wow! Wow, this is snowy! Oh, sorry. oh my god, morning, mate! Ah. Oh. Is it morning? Beautiful view of the valley. Good morning! Crazy. What? <laughs> <laughs> look how deep it is! in this car park that we're parked there's a little taxi rank and we were just stood outside and the guy in the taxi rank called us over he's got a little fire going in there 
and I think he's inviting us over for something to eat. So we're gonna head over there now. This is nice. Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> Okay, so Ismail has invited us into his little hut. He's made us this steaming bowl of, I think it's orzo cooked in this tomato sauce mm. and it is absolutely amazing. He's got some fresh bread. We're all just sharing lunch together. This is amazing. So before we had the taxi rank, Ismail had a balloon company. And these are all his photos in the past few years. The horses. Good. Yeah. 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 Do, you, do you ride horse? I, I yeah. am probation Oh, you're a professional, wow. I'm a professional horse rider as well. Wow. That's why this. Wow. Full energy. Rasul. Oh, that's your. Oh, that's Rasul. Rasul. Oh, that's this is his son. Burada oturuyor. Ah, burada benim Rasul. Evet, evet. Bilal da oğlum Japonya'da Japon kızıyla evli. Yes, Bilal is also my son. I'm married to a Japanese girl. Japanese girl. Ah, wow. Um. Have you been to Japan to visit him? <laughs> so his son that lives in Japan, he's just showing us pictures of his granddaughters that he's not had a chance to meet yet because of the pandemic. But they're coming here in five months, he's going to see them. <laughs> We're from England. Yeah. He's basically said this little hut is open for us and everyone. Right, like going to have food and key, they're probably wondering where the hell we are. Yeah. We've been in Turkey for four or five months now and we still can't get over Turkish hospitality. It is incredible. Ismail, if you're watching this, you're an absolute legend. Thank you so, so much for all of that. Seeing as we couldn't really drive anywhere today because the roads were covered in thick, thick snow and ice, I couldn't really walk anywhere either because the pathways were covered in thick, thick ice. We're going out for a cooking class this evening, which I'm really excited about. And they cater for vegans too, so it should be a lot of fun. So we're with Atella's mum Arzu, who's going to be teaching us to cook some traditional Turkish dishes today, including one of my favourites, which is manti, which is Turkish ravioli. I love it. Just dried uh, peppers, so we put in water from morning, so okay. it gets soft, so it was okay. really dry, just like we hanging behind of you. Yeah. Uh, after you put parsley and dill, poison. So, she did one example. Uh, this is a lot of fun, not gonna lie. Oh, man, no. what is that? Oh. too much. It's too much. <laughs> Come on, Ben. There we go. I think my hands are too big for this. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm all thumbs. <laughs> How's the going very well. Just like concentrating so much. Like, I don't think I've blinked. <laughs> Everybody's on to the stuffed peppers. I had one bind leaf left. So we're just going to start making manti, which is Turkish ravioli from the middle. Yes, and people are And then like this. Start in the middle. Yeah. One. Look, open. Oh, okay, okay, I get you. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, come on. I've got you. I think let your mom come back. You come back. <laughs> 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 what? Oh my goodness. Remember the beginning. Oh, a little bit bigger. It's a squishy, squishy. And then... Foldy, foldy. <laughs> squeezy, squeezy. <laughs> Gazelle means beautiful. Very good. Okay, okay. How's it going, Philly? It's going. Something's going. Yeah, I'm just gonna. There you go. You can't see which one it was. Five, seven minutes. So all the food has been prepped. We had such a fun time learning how to make everything. And now it's time to eat. Look at this feast. How are the dormers? Please try one of these. These are amazing. I think I brought this one. Guys, we're 
brilliant chef. <laughs> Get good direction. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. So Olga so being a food coma later, that was absolutely amazing. Mm-hmm. We're just saying there was so much more to Turkish food than kebabs and even like gazlemi and stuff. This was absolutely delicious and so fresh. Everything farm to table, organic. Yeah, so good. It was amazing. And now we need to see if we can recreate this in the van. Oh yeah, I'm up for that, that sounds great. So Helen and his mum run these cooking classes here in Cappadocia. I'll put a link in the description if you want to come here and try it yourself. We couldn't recommend it enough. We've had such an amazing time. Thank you so much. Thank you. Such a chocolate. Yes, definitely. <laughs> I just can't believe we've not done a Turkish cooking class sooner. Yeah. Yeah. For yeah, saying wish. how much Turkish food we've been eating. Right, right guys. Okay, it is so cold. Shit goes for me. Oh, the, oh, the vans have got oh, icicles oh, on. Well, how can it be minus nine with a real feel of yeah. minus six? <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Right. <laughs> Let's get the diesel heater on. Good night, Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 It is a beautiful, clear sunrise this morning, which means one thing. The balloons are up. The Cappadocia balloons are a wonder to behold, but to watch them rising up above a pink and gold snow dusted landscape, it was as though we'd been transported into another world. Those balloons wow. were, how amazing was that? Oh, it was amazing to see. It was meant to be cloudy this morning, so we didn't actually plan to see them. It was a complete surprise. Literally got up to make a drink this morning, looked out the window, and it was clear morning skies. It was supposed to be cloudy yeah, this morning. And there morning. were balloons up. And Ben was like, the balloons are up. And I was like, oh go, my go, God. Go, 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 go. All the clothes were cold. My boots last night had frozen, and the lace had, had frozen, so I had to snap them to break. <laughs> Oh, it's crazy, but yeah, we managed to get out at about 7 o'clock this morning to see them. It was, yeah. it was fantastic, wasn't it? So the plan today, or tonight, is to try and find one of the more like wild camp spots to go and see the balloons rise a little bit closer. Obviously, we've had so much snow here. I don't know if they're going to be snowed under. So we might not be able to get like as close as we want, but we're no. going to do our best. We're going to give it a go. Because oh, tomorrow is meant to be... Oh, no, nope. the dogs are going mental. <laughs> tomorrow is meant to be sunny. So, fingers crossed they're going up tomorrow as well. Yes. What a treat that was. That was, it was, yeah. Very unexpected treat. Okay, so we've been here for three days now and our water tank is still completely frozen. This is the lifesaver that we keep talking about. This jerry can which filters the water for us. This has literally been a lifesaver because if we didn't have this, we would have to, because we couldn't drive out of this car park yesterday, we'd have had to have walked to the shops to go and get big bottles of water. We've been able to use this for cooking, clean and washing. It has literally been a lifesaver. Let's roll out. Right. The unique geology that gives Cappadocia its cave houses and fairy chimneys also gives the region a clay that is perfect for pottery. Ceramics are a local speciality here, so it was only fitting we had a go at making some while we were here. <laughs> we're just watching the guy demonstrate making a sugar pot, and he's making it by eye, so he's built the top to the sugar pot separately to the bowl, and apparently if they're a master, the, the top will fit the bowl. Oh my god! <laughs> That is like perfect. Yes. Oh my god. Well done. That's so good. Thank you so much. Oh, oh, Brandon. Okay. Feel the vase. Be the vase. <laughs> Be the vase. Congratulations. Yay. 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 It's 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 modern art. <laughs> <laughs> Like it's pretty good? I told you Ben's gonna be good, I just felt it myself. <laughs>
will not pay you for this piece, but we will sell this, okay? <laughs> this was amazing, really good. Uh, Master <laughs> Last one really wobbly. Uh -huh. oh, oh, okay. O şimdi şöyle düşünüyor herhalde. Dört kişi izi. But when we close the switch off, uh, yes, show there. They are starting to glow. Oh, my <laughs> <laughs> this is our family magic. <laughs> Look at this, they're all glowing in the dark. I was not expecting that. Look at these, the wine detectors as well. <gasps> yeah. Really this, this place is a labyrinth of, what would you say? Amazing pottery, bombs, vases. Everything's uh, handmade, everything. everything's hand painted. The craftsmanship here is just out of this world. It's absolutely insane. You can buy everything, from little trinket, like holes. These massive, like human sized vases, it's just amazing. So, of course, we haven't left without picking up some milk souvenirs. Some's bigger than the others. Yeah. Not me. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Had an amazing it was experience. For me. Thank Come you. Again. Yes. You have a That was, again, so, so much fun. Cappadocia is famous for its pottery, so the fact we got to have a go at making it, see how they make it, was just. That was so much fun. If you're in Cappadocia and you're also interested in having a go at making some pottery, I found Hassan on Airbnb, so I'll put the links in the description to their experience. Not sponsored, we fully paid for it. It was just so worth it. I had such a good time. We think we have found a perfect spot to watch the balloons tomorrow. This is one of the places we tried to get to the first night we came here, but it was just an absolute mud fest. There was no way we could have driven up without getting stuck. But now it's cold and it's been snowing. It's a lot easier to drive on. And it has the most incredible views over the valley and the village of Grammy below. We're gonna go on a hike today. So what we're gonna do is leave Philly and Keely's van here. They're gonna pile into Sophia. We're gonna go for a hike, grab some food, and then fingers crossed, come back and sleep here tonight. Who had the map? <laughs> I have no idea. Babe, the most slow motion slide ever. We're trying to find Love Valley, which is one of the valleys you can hike through here. We're taking a more direct route than we probably should be doing. <laughs> After some scrambling in the snow, we made it to Love Valley, a unique and beautiful place in Cappadocia, named after the rock formations which look suspiciously like... Well, I'll let you decide that one. Look, it's a giant... Pecker! Oh, where? Yeah. Wait, that's not a woodpecker, it looks like someone's... Private! And there's a massive... Johnson. Yes, sir. Tell you what, Cappadocia in the winter is next level. It's absolutely beautiful here and there is no one else around. Just to see all the snow over all the rocks, it looks like someone sprinkled the valley with icing sugar. All the animal tracks. Yeah. Going off left, right, all, all over through, the place. Yeah. It is magical. Really, really magical. Wow. It was the coldest last night. I think it was minus nine last night. Good morning, guys. Morning. Good morning. How is this for a wake up call, this hey? Is a, this amazing is spot, isn't it? Yeah.
honestly one of the most magical things I've ever seen. You're like, wow, it looks like this. Yeah. If I was a bird. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for coming to Cappadocia with us. Oh, it's Thanks been for awesome. dragging us along, you know, <laughs> so forcefully. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's been so epic. Thank you guys for inviting us. Yes, thank you. It's been so much fun. It's been, yeah, it's been such an awesome convoy as well. It has. Yeah. It's going to take a lot to beat, I think. Yeah. I think this so past too. two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if you aren't already subscribed to Philly and Keely, make sure you go and subscribe to their channel. They make the most beautiful vlogs of their van life adventures. I'll put all the links to their stuff down in the description below. And on that note, we shall see you next week. See you next Sunday, guys. Bye. Bye. We're actually going to ditch our van and all live in one van. That's how close we are. No boundaries. How would you describe it? Um, Lentily. Very lentily. Bit soupy. Um, <laughs> savoury. Uh, savoury. The zest of lemon. That's sexual. Right. <laughs> we have had so much fun prepping all of the food and learning how to make all the things. <laughs> we have had such I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Tea is great. <laughs> Thank you. Make it some weird noises. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>